Yoda fountain. I see water. I don't oh, see yeah. Yoda. Magical adventure. Thank you, have a great day. It is a beautiful day for a flight. Now this is an extremely long flight, so I'm gonna get food here in the terminal while I'm on board. So many options, so little time. Found it. I am not the only one to think of Chick-fil-A first thing in the morning. Are we down to the end? Perfect, thank you. That was super fast, thank you. The plane's here, gonna eat breakfast, and then we'll be on our way. Just recently found out that we are honored to be joined by an honor flight. Several veterans who are coming home after service. I don't have to say it, but thank you for your service. Good day. Thank you. I'm not used to flying west for a Disney adventure. Perfect day for a magical adventure. I've made it to St. Louis, but I'm not staying here. I'm just stopping for just a moment, staying on the same plane, and then making our way to San Francisco. So apparently we're about an hour delayed to leave St. Louis to get to San Francisco. I, uh, I will keep you updated. I don't think it's going to be a big deal at all. Usually they can accelerate through these things, so we'll get there on time. I'll let you know. San Francisco typically is a delayed airport, but there is uh, smoke and haze due to some wildfire activity. It's held back the air, airport's operation a bit. We're going to go in 45 minutes. That's at 11 o'clock, but now it looks like we might push back even further because of the wildfire. So we'll just play it by ear, and I'll uh, keep my brother informed via text, but we'll get there when we get there. They're about to start boarding. Boarding has begun by St. Louis. It's been fun. Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the continuation of Southwest Airlines Flight 1814 with nonstop service into San Francisco. San Francisco. Now there are some wildfires close by to us, so you can smell a lot of smoke in the air, and there was smoke through the entire way here, but we landed safely, and that's what's important. I have never been to San Francisco ever in my entire life, so I'm really excited to see more of the city just for a few days, and then we're off to Alani. I don't have my bags yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can smell the fire from here. You can smell that smoke everywhere around here from that wildfire. I don't have many details about it, but it's burning in a significant rate. So I hear it's very dangerous, and I think we're pretty far away from it. I have both bags, and now just waiting for my brother. He should be pulling around any moment. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's good. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I do. Yeah, I wasn't ready with the sign, no. Oh, listen to the music, too. Listen to that music. And the shirt. Listen, listen to it. 
Oh yeah, Hawaiian music going. I love it. Love the music. Thanks for picking up. I really appreciate it. Off yeah. to first stop, Juradelli. Let's do it. All right. My con, my biggest con for what I think is going to be the Hawaii barrier, the I'm, challenge, I'm ready. is there's one Hawaii and it's way out to the west. So unless you have a reason, like if I'm living here, it's a little bit more accessible. Yes. But if I live in the other side of the country, it's like, do I really want to fly all the way around the world just to go to that island? Versus the cruises, you can go out east, you can go out west, you can go to Europe. Uh, so I think that's a huge advantage of the cruising. Um, not to mention, you're a lot more guaranteed and committed to your cruise-only audience on Castaway Key and on the boat itself. I agree. I agree. So we'll, we'll obviously open mind, open heart, see what it feels like. I can't wait for it. I'm super excited. I'm super excited too. Crazy excited. I didn't get to the pros either. Yeah, we didn't get to the pros. So we're thinking about right now, like, okay, could it be a replacement for Castaway Key? The travel alone is the, it's a big chunk of it. So we'll we'll continue this conversation throughout the vlogs. In case you didn't see it earlier, David wrote this on a piece of paper, just be, you know, to hold it up like a chauffeur, like looking for Michael. Where are you? Across the bay here, you can actually see Alcatraz. So David's giving me a little bit of a tour here. Alcatraz is over there. We're going to Juradilly right now for some very special chocolate. This isn't a this isn't a real hill. Not a real hill. This is this it feels like a real hill. Welcome to Juradilly Square. Super famous, you know super famous this? square. It sounds like they have several of the same things that you can find at Disney Springs, but a few that are specific to this location. I only see I think Twin Peaks you can, but this marina one, the Raspberry Sorbet Sunday, I'm pretty sure you can't get that at Disney. Myrrh Woods, you see this black cherry vanilla sundae? Midnight Reverie is one of my favorites. So it all looks good to me. What are you talking about? What looks it's good? tough, isn't it? What do, you, what do you want to get? Presidio Passion for me, which is the vanilla ice cream, strawberry topping, and hot homemade hot fudge. And David's getting the Myrrh Woods, which is black cherry vanilla sundae with black cherry vanilla ice cream, handmade, handmade hot fudge topped with whipped cream. All sounds delicious. How are you, sir? Okay, all right. That looks delicious. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. This is so darn good. It's, it's phenomenal. My thought is, you know, one thought you're thinking, in California, the official Girardelli place, is the ice cream as good as the Girardelli in Disney Springs? Your first thought. You, you, you go first there, you go first. Well, I have, this is my issue, is I haven't been in such a long time, it's hard for me to compare. But as far as I'm aware, this is really good. I, I, I from my memory, I would say this might even be better. But I don't remember. From what I remember, from my recent memory, I was there not too long ago. This is, it's almost the same. They taste almost the same in quality. I'm talking about quality, not the actual taste. Almost the same. So I think that you're not missing out if you go to Disney Springs and you can't make it out to this journey. Okay. So now David and I are actually going to make our way to the Presidio. We could see a lot more here, and I want to see like the history part of Girardelli just really quickly as we walk our way out. But then we're going to go to the Presidio and see this new, this Lucasfilm, it's not new, Lucasfilm exhibit. It's supposed to be like this super cool place, all about Star Wars. I want to see it. We can only see it today because tomorrow it's closed to the public. So that's where we're going right now. Then we'll get an official dinner. Sounds great. Let's do it. Three tiered meals, a combination of grinding and friction heat, melt the cocoa nibs into a liquid called the chocolate liqueur, unsweetened chocolate as we know it today. Granite rollers then roll the mix of chocolate liqueur with selected ingredients. These may include whole milk, uh, milk powder, sugar, vanilla. Wow. You can see it being done right here. Okay, so David, do you think that's real chocolate? I think that it's real chocolate. I'm not sure that uh, it'll be publicly consumed, but uh, it looks, looks pretty real to me. You can see the gears going and everything. It's so, so cool. Uh, okay, sir, greatly Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Frederick. Okay. Once it's past Halloween, Christmas music's okay. Okay. Do you agree? Um, or would you, would you, that's the debate. Is it Thanksgiving or is it Halloween? Right. I guess, I feel like at least with this proximity to Thanksgiving, like you've actually left October. But I guess you're right. Once, once you pass Halloween, it's October, it's November. So. 
maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe past Halloween you're good. Okay, not alone here. Now you're seeing a lot of people wearing those respirators. They're not sick, they're just trying to protect themselves from the wildfire that's burning elsewhere. You can't really see it as much, but they want to be careful not to breathe it in all the time. We're just visiting for a little bit, so we'll be okay. Presidio, that's how you say it? Presidio. Presidio, we're going to Presidio. David was telling me that this used to be, what, a military base? I believe it used to be. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I heard something like it used to be a military base. Okay, so now we're in the, this part of the Presidio, Golden Gate, and we're looking for the Lucasfilm building, which we both believe is this one right here. On it right here is a building owned by Lucasfilm. Maybe they make movies in there. Some Star Wars ones? Maybe. Apparently this is the Star Wars paradise. It's like four Star Wars people. I see giant r 2 d <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. yeah. Welcome to it. This is still good one. That was the what is that Lucasfilm building right there, and inside they have some of the coolest Star Wars memorabilia of all time. Now one problem, as soon as I walked in, they said no filming. So instead, I took as many pictures as I possibly could. I'm going to share them with you right here so that you can see them too. But Dave, what was your favorite part of that exhibit? Very cool. I liked the Darth Maul yeah. sculpture where he was. Uh, combating Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn. Yes. Very, uh, very well built. That was a cool one. I also really like that one where uh, Darth Vader was grabbing yeah. that uh, uh, rebel by the throat. <laughs> that was a really cool st uh, statue too. And then we took a lot of them side by side where they were like life-size, K2SO, R2-D2, Darth Vader. It w was it worth it? Oh, totally. And the life-size models were great too. Yeah, those were, those were awesome. So that was fun. Excursion, Lucasfilm. Now where are we going? Boudin Bakery. Boudin Bakery, let's do it. You probably can't see it in the video, but the, maybe you can. The poster for the, the desk right there, there's like a desk, right? The poster for it is Lawrence of Arabia. I mean, that's, <laughs> we're in a cool place. Boudin Bakery, here we come. Right, like we, we're here figuring we it out. We are going to Lombard Street to get to Boudin Bakery. A lot of sights to see today. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's super hilly. Do you see the houses here? Look, the houses are at like night. This is this is the direction we're going. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. There are so many tourists here, and the the trolley is stopped right in front of where we are. I think it's about to pull away, but you can tell this is like the tourist spot to be in. Whoa! Look at that shot. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you want to go back? No, 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 no. This is, this is an extreme driving experience oh, here. Okay. Look at that, that's, that's insane. Look at this, look at this, we're doing it via car. Thank you, David, that was awesome. <laughs> we're not the only ones, we're not, we're, not, we're not the only ones doing this. Bye Lombard Street, there it is. That's awesome. That was the most epic way to experience Lombard Street. <laughs> that was awesome. Alright All right, Dave, where are we? Uh, we are on the Embarcadero between, I guess this is Fisherman's Grotto they call it? Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf, right. So I heard Fisherman's Wharf is good too, but we're here to try Boudin Bakery. Because that's the number one, right? Number one? That's the number one to try. Yeah. It smells like everything. Everything. It kind of does. I smell like apple, apple bread. cinnamon, yeah, bread. And then you smell fish if you go over there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of smells. <laughs> I didn't notice this at first, but there, there are baskets. Inside the baskets, there's bread. And it's going by on the conveyor belt there. Can you see it? Yep, there it goes. So we've decided to change it up just a little bit. We're going to split the shredded chicken tacos and then get the half sandwich ha and the bowl and split those up too. Hi there, how are you? Boudin Bakery. We have the uh, sourdough tacos here, which sound amazing. The clam chowder bread bowl right there looks incredible. And the uh, tuna salad sourdough sandwich. It all looks fantastic. Just waiting for David and we'll eat it together. Oh, you were right. Is it the best clam chowder you've ever had? Mm. 
it is definitely some of the best. I mean, I don't know if I've had better. Yeah, there, once you, once you like taste it, like really get the full taste of it, take your time. it takes some time. It does. It is amazing. It's amazing. We're getting food and a show here. There's bread moving all around us. We're seeing them create the bread. They're on the other side here, you can see them. They're moving it right there. There's there's a lot going on. Tuna salad sandwich. What a dude. That is phenomenal. That's phenomenal. I have bad news. I'm never going to be able to look at Panera the same way again. Putting Panera to shame here. But, I mean, I thought I loved Panera. Forget Panera. This, this is some amazing food. Come to San Francisco, take David's suggestion, Boudin Bakery near Pier 39. There's a bunch of them. Pier okay. 39. Apparently, we're a couple piers down from Pier 39. Okay, so there's, they're all over there's here. There's one on the other side of the city. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Last but not least, David, showcase what we have last. It is the chicken taco. Looks delicious. Are you ready for this? So ready. Pick never yours. had these before. You gotta pick it. You've never had one. Never had a boudin taco. I have never even heard of a boudin sourdough taco. Alright, here we go. Wow. Wow. I think I need to get another set of two and send them back home. <laughs> that is spectacular. Mm -hmm. I would get this again in a heartbeat. A heartbeat. Okay, Boudin Bakery, that was delicious. David and I walked down in that direction. We're both really full and it's a little bit chilly, so we're gonna we're gonna drive it and just just take a look from the car. But I am exhausted at this point. I've been up just traveling for, for hours and hours and hours. So I think I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go hang out at David's place in a little bit. Got some stuff to do in your, in your apartment, move some things around. But uh, this is a fun-filled day tomorrow in San Francisco. We got a glimpse of Pier 39. It looks really cool, but I am just too exhausted to get out and take a look at it. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go see David's apartment. Go to sleep and another full San Francisco day tomorrow. We're gonna go to the Walt Disney Family Museum tomorrow. Can't wait to see all of that. First, I'm gonna get a lot of sleep though. It was quite an adventurous traveling day today, but as you can tell, I am super tired, so I'm gonna get a lot of sleep tonight, and then the Walt Disney Family Museum tomorrow. Until then, have a magical day.